It's um, in Kranza Unity Afforestation Nursery Site in collaboration with Permaculture Network Ghana. When you look at the trees being planted, it's very, 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 very nice. And then the nursery is also very, very, very impressive. The fruit trees, the indigenous trees, when you look at it, it's very marvelous. Schools and then churches and then communities are also benefiting from this um, tree species over here concerning the heavy winds, concerning the erratic rainfall so that we can plant more trees to solve all this problem. And then here to the northern region is not far. The desert encroachment is also coming very fast. So this tree that we are planting is also going to solve um, the savannization and then the, the savanna encroachment so that um, more trees can also modify the environment so that um, we can change the climate and then we can also solve this environmental issue as well as possible. And we longing to go back home. So cyber petendra is a soft wood that we can grow as timber uh, to improve our forests. So Abizia grows fast, fixes nitrogen, and then Abizia is also very good for wood lot so that they can establish a um, wood lot so that they can cut it for firewood. Because when you go to the north, the people use a lot of charcoal over there. So that has also degraded the, the environment over there. So we are sending more abyssia to the north. The cashew nursery is also a fruit tree and we have a lot of farmers. They have also requested more cashew and they are just planting the cashew for fruit trees and then they are also selling to get more income. Um, Ofram is an indigenous tree species. People over here use them most especially for timber or forest establishing. So Cassia semia for woodlot. And then it also serves as a windbreak. It has also been requested by the schools, by churches, by the communities, and then to the north. This is a Jaffna nursery being established. It's like a local one. And the people here like Jaffna a lot. It's very resistant to diseases. And then it also grows faster. Butter used in the, maybe in the form of a synthetic way, but this one to substitute butter for our bread and then for other food as well. Or from Sambod, indigenous tree species that we use to establish our natural forest, which helps in the timber industry and also helps in the rainfall pattern also in Ghana here. Oil palm has a lot of uses for basket, for oil, animal feed, broom, which we use to sweep our houses. And we are also trying to supply more oil palm to some farmers so that they can establish oil palm plantation and get more income for their livelihood. Teak is also very good for timber and then use them for firewood. Cocoa is very, very, very good, which Ghana depends most on cocoa. We have a fixed price for cocoa. It has also become a natural income for the country. Most of the farmers, 70% um, who are in the cocoa plantation, when you go to the rural areas, and which we are also supporting, we are giving more cocoa ceilings to farmers to go into cocoa plantation to establish the cocoa industry so that we can get money for the farmers, we can export and then get foreign exchange as well. What we are trying that uh, most of the communities can be involved in it so that um, the savanna equipment can be reduced into a very minimum point. We still need um, people to come in and then support this project. We have a lot of workers here. Uh, we will see some women getting also their daily bread from this site. There is water here, but to pump the water from here to the nursery is a very big problem because they collect the water with the watering can and then some buckets to this side. A very tough work. Much concern is on the women. If we can get more women here so that um, we can pay them, we can support them, we can get maybe some pumping machine here, can pump the water so that watering here will be very easy. They get money here to support their family. They get money here also to look for themselves so that um, they can withstand about the poverty um, line that the people are also falling into it. So we need more support here so that maybe we can buy more ceilings to get more income for them as well as possible. This is a meeting held at Apostolic Church Techumon 
and it's a Moringa meeting which is organized by Permaculture Network Teachman. Buyers, sellers come together to bargain about prices for future harvest. They are just discussing seriously. Meeting has just ended and members are going out to their locations. Permaculture Network Ghana is trying helping farmers to grow economically, make use of their land, seas, and other aspect of farming throughout the seasons in Ghana and abroad. All these farmers, entrepreneurs, stakeholders, very serious in their business. We're hoping to see this program throughout the nation. By so doing, farmers would have no problem to any farming activity. These are discussions by two farmers, our leaders, to discuss in the next meeting to see how this farming system should move smoothly. We're hoping to see this Moringa program moving smoothly, nicely.